Hi guys, my name's Nick Jennison, I'm the guitar player for Blitzkrieg and Saints of Arcadia. I'm a lead contributor for Lick Library and Guitar Interactive Magazine. I'm an educator, producer, guitar player, among other things. And I want to talk to you a little bit about this guy. This is not a steering wheel, although it does look a bit like one. This is the Integral Close Miking System. And I've been using this for a couple of years now, and I've got to say it's been absolutely invaluable to me in that time. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how I use it and what it is. So what we're looking at here essentially is a dynamic microphone that attaches directly to your speaker's gasket. I have one installed in my Victory 212 down here and it's behind the grill cloth. This little XLR comes out of the back of the cab, you plug an XLR in and then you're mic'd up and ready to go. No mic stands, no faffing around. It's really, really simple, but it also sounds absolutely fantastic. Now I've been using this both live and in the studio for a couple of years now. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how I use it personally, starting with my favorite studio application, which is as a blending mic. Now it's become industry standard to use an SM57 when it comes to recording guitars with good reason. It's a sound that we're all familiar with, but it does have its limitations. Now 57s are a little bit abrasive in the high end and they generally have a color all of their own. So everything you put a 57 on kind of sounds a bit like a 57 regardless of your speaker choice you know within reason it is going to make a difference but the 57 definitely has its own color so it's common to blend your 57 with a microphone that's perhaps a little bit more accurate to the sound of a cab in a room and this is where the integral really shines because it is unbelievably close at least to my ear to the sound of my cab in the room and that's why I actually got one in the first place so I could use it on stage and have the sound of my cab accurately represented in the front of house as opposed to the sound of a teeny tiny microphone, but that's something we'll get onto in just a moment. So it is a really fabulous blending mic when it comes to combining with the 57 to get that kind of industry standard two mic guitar setup, but it's also a lot more affordable than the other kinds of microphones that you typically use in this configuration. And it doesn't break if you apply phantom power to it. It's not fragile, it's a dynamic mic, so it's gonna handle high SPLs if you crank your amp up, which let's be honest, is something we all love to do. So let's take a listen to an example that I've prepared for you. What we're going to listen to is the sound of an SM57 on my Victory 212. Then we'll listen to the sound of the Integral, which will be much flatter and much smoother and more accurate to the sound of a cab in a room. And then we're going to listen to my favorite blend of the two, which I think sounds absolutely killer and works beautifully in a mix with the best of both worlds when it comes to smoothness and body and also attack and bite. Let's take a listen to that now. So I'd also like to tell you a bit about how I use the Integral in my live rig. Now live, I use a wet dry wet rig, but I only use a single cab on stage. And the reason for this is manifold. First of all, touring budgets aren't what they were. So it doesn't make sense to take three cabs and three amps on the road if you can avoid it. Also, it's a bit obnoxious to have three cabs on stage in terms of volume and also in terms of stage space. And also sometimes, a lot of the time, I'm the singer in the band, so I'm stood in front of the drummer and arranging three cabs around a drum riser is a bit of an issue at the best of times and then there's the issue of spill into the drum mics it's just a headache that you want to avoid if you can so what i do is i run my wet effects stereo left and right through my Waza tube amp expander to the front of house. And then I use the power amp from the tube amp expander to send a dry signal to my cabinet, which is mic'd up with my integral, which is just behind the grill cloth in this Victory 2x12. Now, the reason I do this is because the integral is in a 
fixed place on my cabinet. First of all, I like the sound of it, but secondly, it's in a fixed place on my cab, so it's not going to move night after night. And this is good because it means that the IR blend that I've dialed up in the tube amp expander is definitely going to work with the sound of my dry cab on stage every night because it's going to be the same sound every night. Now that is important. Also, I get a much better phase correlation with an integral than I do with a 57, let's say, on a stand in front of a cab because this is so much closer to the speakers. So there's a little bit less of that latency to worry about. It is small, but this is important when you're running digital and analog gear together. And lastly, I don't get as many feedback issues because, you know, this is really, really close to the speaker and there is a grill cloth behind it which sort of dampens the sound kind of coming back at the integral so it's really like it's just a perfect solution for this kind of rig so let me show you what it sounds like now what you're going to be listening to here is the wiser tube amp expander left and right with all of my wet effects my reverb and my delay and then dead up the center bone dry you'll hear the sound of the victory 212 with the integral doing all all of the miking in this particular example. Let's take a listen to that now. There you go guys, that's been a brief look at how I personally use the Integral close miking system both live and in the studio and it really has become an absolutely invaluable part of my toolkit. Whether it's on a live stage getting consistent sound night after night or whether it's in the studio blending with the 57 to get a great sounding pro level recording or even just documenting ideas when inspiration strikes without having to spend a thousand years setting microphones up just so I can get an idea down. One more time, my name is Nick Jennison this is the Integral Close Miking System. I urge you to check one out. Mm -hmm.